Good afternoon, good evening. Um, today we are going out to Glen Nevis. Um, for those of you who have not met me before, my name is Kieran, this is Pauline. Um, this channel we do a little bit of landscape photography, I talk a lot about my ideas behind my shots um, and different processes to create them final ideas. Um, if there is anything that you'd like to see more of, make sure you hit it in the comments below. Anything that you do like, also hit in the comments below. And if you feel like anyone else would enjoy this content, give it a share. Let them know. Um, but tonight we are going to Glen Nevis. And the idea for tonight is to build a photograph. Not just to capture a nice shot, but to see what could be add to that and take different elements and build into one final image. So as you can see from the road coming up as we're traveling along it just as we are, it is very, very windy, bumpy, but what catches your eye straight away? Hopefully that mountain there, because that mountain, I'm not sure of the name of it at the moment, but I will do some research when we pull over. Um, is the main focal point. We've got some really interesting bends in the road coming round left and right. And what we're trying to find is the correct section of this road that leads off into that mountain. And with the right light trails, will create a beautiful foreground interest. The wind is cold tonight, I tell you. Well, this is the view, for sure, definitely the view. Whether it's the road, I'm not too sure yet. Um, because as nice as it is, and as nice as the way it leads into the scene, I've got some trees coming across in this little section where it cuts out. But one thing I do like about it is the way it comes away from the road and then back in. But I'm not sure if the view from is from up here. So I'm gonna have a little look a little bit over there and see if that's looking any better. So I've had a little walk around. There's a few little bits that I quite like, but I think this is looking the strongest just here. And the reason why is because I've got this nice, strong leading in line coming through this way and then you see it come back in towards that main focal point, the mountain at the end. As you can see, the light is starting to get pretty far up that mountain now. So I'm gonna to need to get that first shot to get the light on the side of that peak. The light is gonna travel further up and fingers crossed, it's gonna get pinkier the further it goes. But for now, it's just gonna be a case of capturing that initial shot. So I've got my shot all set up and I had a little walk around, I climbed the top of that hill over there, went over to that hill. And I think right here, just above the road, is probably the best place for it. But I have to say, it is windy, it is cold, and whoo, I'm not going to lie. Uh, definitely had pleasanter times setting up a camera. So this is what I'm looking at. I've got this little bit of road coming around this way into the scene. Got the mountain over here. Let's lower that exposure. Got the mountain. The mountain is off to one side, following the rules of third, balanced out by this mountain over here. These trees are a little bit imposing, but I feel like they add to the scene. I don't feel like they take away from it. I feel like they add to it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to wait until the light gets further up that mountain. I'll get a safety shot now, but I'm going to wait until the light gets further up that mountain before I capture that shot. 
Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to photograph the colour in the sky and then I'm going to start getting them light trails. So I'm going to shoot it two parts. So this one for the mountain. This one for the road. Blend them both together. You end up with this. Now, just got to wait for that light to look good. With my tripod, I made sure I had my spikes on and I've stuck them right into that ground so that's going nowhere. And now I'm gonna run away and hide inside the car and stay nice and warm. Oh. Just back in the car now. Got a little bit of Netflix on, loving life. Um, luckily, brought the car to keep warm because it is super cold out there. Okay, so Pauline is going to set off now. We're not sure if it's actually going to be dark enough and uh, the sky never lit up. Um, I was hoping it was going to and it looks like it should have, but it just didn't. So my settings for this are going to be slightly different. I'm going to go for a longer exposure, a 13 second exposure. Pauline's going to go past. I'm going to change it onto a continuous and I'm going to very gently hold my finger just on here. So we're going to see Pauline come into shots. And I'm just going to try and keep my finger on that button without shaking the camera too much. And Pauline's just going to carry on cruising along. And then hopefully I'm going to get nice, strong, consecutive lines of Pauline driving off into the distance. So if you look at this shot just here, you're getting the effect a little bit. But the problem is what's happening is Pauline's taking a foot on and off the gas. So it's getting quite broken red lines, which is later on, I give it a go and I tried to drive the car and brake myself, but it's too clever. As soon as you press the brake, it stops being able to accelerate. That's the problem. What I've gone for is a 13 second exposure. F11 ISO 64. Let's see how that is looking. See, that's starting to look pretty good there. I reckon them two, they'll connect together really well. I think, let's see if we can get one more pass. And uh, fingers crossed, that'll be the one. So Pauline's gone up and down a couple of times now and I think I'm starting to get enough light that I'll be able to stack the light together. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that strong beam like I was hoping and I didn't get the sunset like I was hoping but maybe if we wait a little bit longer I might be able to get some stars. So stack the light trails, mountain and some stars. That would look pretty sweet. So you probably can't see me really but uh, I thought it was quite important to come and talk about how I'm going to change my settings. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my aperture. Few moments later. So I've got my sky, I've got my mountain, and then I just need to put them all together. And I'll probably finish this vlog at home where I talk about the finished results. So I will see you back there. Sorry about the darkness and everything, but See you back there. Bye. So, welcome back. And uh, I know it would be lovely if I had a full studio and sound bars and, you know, all the nice things. But, I, you know, we'll get there. I will get there. Um, but, yeah, so the picture has been taken. I've captured these three images. This one just here of the sky. This one here of the mountains. This one here of the lights. And this is what it looks like blended together. So I've got the stars over here and I'm, it's a bit of a shame, but I have, I have got a little bit of graininess up in the sky, which is a bit of a shame really. Um, so can't really change anything about that. Uh, I can try and reduce it, but then everything will get soft and you know, so I'm, I think I'm going to stick with that graininess. The mountains look amazing. They've got this like almost like a smoky effect going on over them. 
and the light trails, I really I cropped in a little bit and I really like the way it leads in this way, leading around into that scene and it almost like pops behind a hillside. So it gives you a chance to look around the image before, you know, seeing that final mountain in the background. Now, when you are editing and you are putting different shots together, be careful of this. I should have looked a little bit closer and I will re-edit this, but I wanted to show you how this looks. And so if you're doing this, you know, hopefully you won't make the same mistake, but look at that, all that unmatchingness where the cameras obviously move because of the wind or whatever, but they don't line up anymore. And that's me being quick and just firing through the edit and I've missed this. And now I've got a fully edited picture that I think looks lovely, but there's a mistake in it. Something that could have been fixed, but because I was too quick about it, it's been missed. But yeah, so I'm really quite happy with how this final image has turned out. And I am going to do some retouches on that hillside to make it look even better. The image that you'll see at the end will have been retouched. So, you know, hopefully that one still catches, still is as good as this one. Um, but that is going to be all from me this week. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, leave a little comment below. Um, your support on this channel, this little tiny channel that I've got here, um, is super important uh, to helping me grow and hopefully visiting more screens. Um, but yeah, All right. Have a lovely week and I will see you next week. Peace out, people.